And next we have amides. Amides end with the uh, normal one and the normal prefix with amide at the end. There's three kinds of amides: primary, secondary, and tertiary amides. Um, you know it's an amide when it has an amino group attached to a carbonyl group. So for primary amides, an example is four carbon chain, double bonded oxygen, and a nitrogen with two hydrogens. This is an example of the carbonyl group. And this is named with the four carbon chain. Four carbon chain as always means it has a but prefix and then it ends with an amide. So this exa this is an example of butanamide for a primary amide. And secondary amides. Just like am means the uh, primary, secondary, and tertiary is, stands for the number of carbons bonded to the nitrogen. So, with the same four carbon molecule that we had before, but instead of only the one carbon attached to the nitrogen, there's also another one bonded to the nitrogen. With hydrogens off of that, and then another hydrogen off of here. Um, this is an example of secondary amide. And the way you would name this would be M, and then a hyphen. The N stands for um, saying that this functional group is bonded to a nitrogen. So it's N, and then this is a methyl. This is a methyl group. So it's N, methyl. And then the four carbons in the original chain makes it N methyl but and amide. And that's a secondary example of a secondary amide. Tertiary amides are the same thing, only they have it has three carbons bonded to the nitrogen. So it's the same four carbon chain. the nitrogen. This time for tertiary amide it has two carbons. So this is a C with three hydrogens bonded to it. And then this could be a carbon maybe bonded to another carbon and then all hydrogens bonded onto that. So it's the same same purpose, the same same steps. N stands for bonded to the nitrogen. And ethyl. This is an ethyl group because of the two carbons. You'll start with that first before the methyl group that is down here because E for ethyl is alphabetically before the N for methyl. So this is N ethyl from this. And this is a methyl group. So it's an N ethyl N methyl. And then the four carbons in the original chain. Prefix but and amide because it's an amide. So this is an example of N N ethyl N methyl butanamide. That's tertiary amides.